hello students once again welcome to bhulanath academy in this video students we are going to see what are phosphagens how they are classified we are going to see the structure preparation and properties of phosphagens now students if it is asked in examination you have to write like this phosphagens are chain or cyclic polymers phosphagens are the chain or cyclic polymers which contains nitrogen phosphorus double bond as a repeating unit which is unsaturated understanding students this unit will be repeating unit in phosphagens phosphagen itself it is phosphorus as well as what nitrogen that is why it is called as what phosphagens nitrogen and phosphorus bonds together forming large number of phosphagens due to tendency to catenate by themselves understanding students the catenation power will be more in nitrogen and phosphorus that is why it is forming what large number of phosphagens in these compound phosphorus is plus 5 oxidation state here the phosphorus will be at oxidation state of the phosphorus will be plus 5 and nitrogen a in plus 3 oxidation state the oxidation state of nitrogen will be always plus 3 understanding students so this is all about the phosphagens understanding students now students we are going to classify the phosphagens phosphagens can be classified into following types there are there are four types classification we have seen here students monophosphagen diphosphagens polyphosphagens and cyclophosphagens understanding students first students we are going to see monophosphagens here students you have only one repeating unit that is phosphorus nitrogen phosphorus nitrogen understanding students here is the plus 3 oxidation state nitrogen will have plus 3 oxidation on chlorine will have, phosphorus will have plus 5 oxidation state understanding students that is why it is called as monophosphagens understanding so there is only one unit of phosphorus nitrogen that is unsaturated so this is called as monophosphagens in diphosphagens students you have two units this is the example students where this is the r is the alkyl group phosphorus nitrogen double bond and nitrogen phosphorus single bond understanding one more example students here phosphorus will having three chloride and phosphorus nitrogen double bond nitrogen phosphorus single bond again phosphorus nitrogen double bond nitrogen phosphorus single bond understanding students so these are the diphosphagens now students when you are talking about polyphosphagens students this unit will be yeah, uh, phosphorus nitrogen this is the phosphorus students this is phosphorus and nitrogen phosphorus nitrogen will have n number of phosphorus nitrogen unit so this is called as polyphosphagens now students we are going to talk cyclophosphagens here students students nitrogen phosphorus and dichloride will have n number and they are present in cyclic form that is why you can write like this r2 pn n number understanding so this is the cyclophosphagen so this way we have classified the phospho phosphogens understanding phosphorus nitrogen compound understanding students now students we are going to see the preparation of monophosphagens mono means students only one unit so phosphagen which contains one unit is called as monophosphagens monophosphagens are prepared by reacting azide with phosphorus trichloride or phosphorus triphenyl so if you have students phosphorus trichloride is what containing phosphorus and here you have students phenyl azide this is the phenyl group and this is what n3 that is nitrogen so you want phosphorus nitrogen compound that is phosphagens so you have to take these two compound phosphorus trichloride and you have if you have phenyl azide these two com compound react and they will form the phosphorus nitrogen double bond understanding students so this way you can prepare the monophosphagens understanding students and there is the elimination of nitrogen molecule nitrogen gas will be eliminated now students this is the monophosphagens understanding now second way you can also prepare students if you have triphenylphosphine react with phenyl azide this is same compound students the, the c6h5 you can shortcut we can write ph understanding phenyl azide again you are getting monophosphagen students containing phenyl group understanding students so this is the monophosphagen students and then there is the elimination of nitrogen gas now what happens students here also triphenyl phosphorus dichloride react with phenyl amide and you are getting what monophosphagens containing phenyl group on both the side as well as phosphorus as well as what nitrogen side and you are getting two hcl molecule understanding students so these are the preparation of monophosphagens now students we are going to see diphosphagens it can be prepared by reacting phosphorus pentachloride with ammonium chloride understanding students here it has phosphorus here you have what nitrogen understanding so we have to take these two compound phosphorus pentachloride and ammonium chloride in a chlorohydrocarbon solvent under the mild conditions so this way you can prepare the diphosphagens understanding students so here you have taken three molecules of phosphorus pentachloride react with two molecules of ammonium chloride and you are getting diphosphagens like this understanding students so you are getting two repeating unit that is why it is called a diphosphagens uh, of the salt understanding students this is the salt 
diphosphagen salt you are getting plus and, and this is chloride so diphosphagen salt and you are getting eight hcl molecules now here is students when you see in diphosphagen students there is a phosphorus nitrogen double bond and phosphorus nitrogen single bond when you are talking about bond students in diphosphagen phosphorus nitrogen double bond and phosphorus nitrogen single bonds are equivalent in this compound in diphosphagen they are equal in number they can be written like this also students the phosphorus nitrogen and nitrogen phosphorus bond you can represent like this understanding now students the parent phosphorus pentahalide these diphosphagen can often exist in ionic and covalent forms understanding they are present in ionic form or covalent form they are the part of more extended group of compound which can be classified into several general cells diphosphagen is also classified like these students so here is students here the n if you are going to put the value of n zero you are getting phosphorus pentachloride understanding when the value of n will be zero this whole part will become zero this is the first series students now this is also present like this students and this is the second type students here the chloride the chloride of phosphagen and here is students this is also fourth type of the series understanding they are the part of the extended you can group these several general series are there so here i have given four series understanding students so first compound we have taken chloride outside cl2 p and n pcl4 when you are going to put n will be 0 1 2 3 so you are getting when you are going to put n value 0 students we are getting phosphorus pentachloride understanding so this is the basic requirement students for getting phosphorus pentachloride now when your value of n will be 1 students here you are getting 2 p2 n cl one understanding so here you are getting the diphosphagen so this way students p2 n cl7 you can write like this p phosphorus nitrogen double bond and nitrogen phosphorus single bond here the phosphorus because of the plus 5 oxidation states it will have three chlorine and here the phosphorus because of the plus 5 oxidation state students it will have what four to total how many chloride seven chloride three chloride from here and four chloride from here so cl7 two phosphorus is there so you can write p2 and one nitrogen that is n so p2 n cl7 now students when it is three students so P3 N2 chloride 9 Cl9 P3 N2 Cl9 now how you are going to write students structure of this compound P3 N2 so P N will be double bond nitrogen phosphorus single bond phosphorus nitrogen double bond then nitrogen phosphorus single bond now you are going to put the complete the valency students because phosphorus is always plus 5 oxidation state and nitrogen is plus 3 oxidation state so here yeah, because of the plus 5 oxidation state students it will have free chloride will be here and here students you have one chloride above one chloride below understanding students now here because of the plus 5 oxidation state students it will have 4 chloride ion like this understanding so this is the structure of P3N2Cl9 understanding students now students we can see P4N3S11 also like this we can represent the structure of the compound P4N3SCl chloride 11 like this understanding phosphorus nitrogen phosphorus nitrogen phosphorus nitrogen understanding students so some of these can exist in ionic form represent by the second stage some are present in ionic form now that means 1 plus and minus understanding like a salt form understanding students so this way you can represent the compound mostly they are existing ionic form also these are the plus and this is what chloride may be outside now likewise the third series runs from n equals to 0 if you are going to put you are getting pcl4 plus and pcl6 throughout so p3n cl12 p4n2 cl14 p5n3 cl16 p6n4 cl4 18 understanding so this way you can represent the students ionic compound of phosphagen plus and this is what minus so these are the present in salt form phosphagen present in salt form Polymeric phosphagen dichloride, polymeric phosphagen dichloride are formed nitrogen phosphorus and 2 chloride that is NPCl2 and when they are present in N number where N can exist from 10 to 4, uh, these poly alkyl aryl are alkoxy group, they may be what? Alkyl aryl and alkoxy group. Those with large hydrophobic groups that is alkyl group are resistance to the hydrolysis and they, they are useful understanding students now we are going to see the preparation students to prepare the linear polyphosphagen it is necessary to first to prepare an npcl2 thrice that is the rigorously free of phosphorus pentachloride and then convert this into npcl2 n polymers so this is the way students you can prepare npcl2 n polymers understanding so these are very important for the examination point of view students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you